Hi guys, welcome to the first month in my entire life that has no weekend. Every day seems to be every day. As a matter of fact, I've slept so much that I and sleep, we are keeping a social distance for now. Talking about social distancing, governments across the world have enforced total lockdowns and partial in some areas to curb the spread of the pandemic coronavirus or COVID-19 as you would like to call it. And this has brought to fall some development that you might be interested in watching. I want to first start with what's the If you see the food that they are giving to their, to, I mean, they, they gave to, to staff, I mean, to nurses in lawsuits, you will be weeping for Nigeria. Even me as somebody, I'm saying it publicly that if they can just do mass barrier for all our leaders. <laughs> that might be very, very hilarious. But it's an obvious fact that people are hungry in Nigeria of today. There are no palliatives, no relief materials. All we keep hearing are figures, 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 figures. Like we always hear, the government has to do something now. Don't forget that I'm dressed in a suit and all dressed up for this show. I'm also very, very hungry. My, change, my food pattern has changed from 111 to 010 and sometimes 001. Where are we headed to if this extension of this lockdown gets longer than the next two weeks? I'm afraid. Don't be surprised when I have white colour tips on the road. This lockdown in some countries have led to different enforcement procedures and processes across countries of the world. Some of them are commendable and some are outright brutality by the police, which should be condemned immediately with immediate effect. Now, it brings us to the first video. I have no problem with this because if you refuse to stay indoors, Despite the fact that the government has instructed you to stay indoors, you can come out, don't be beaten, you can be made to work out, exercise yourself and get fit. Even getting fit and staying healthy can be a way to cope and tackle coronavirus. We never can say. Police brutality anywhere in the world should be totally condemned and should never be encouraged by anybody or any form or any tier or any organ of government because the duty of the police force across the world is to protect the lives and properties of the citizens they are meant to protect. They swore to protect these people. You should never come back and sabotage this duty by brutalizing these people. Oh my goodness. Can you see how the Nigerian police is enforcing the lockdown in our own country? Beautiful. What an amazing time to be alive and to be a Nigerian. In a bid to protect themselves, citizens have come out with different weapons, different ammunition to be, let's say, the watchdog for the community against the robbers. I've seen very, very deadly weapons and some dangerous weapons. Now the question is, where are these weapons coming out from? What happens when these people that are protecting the community get hungry? What do they do with this weapon? And after this COVID-19, I hope there's going to be some sort of amnesty that people come to lay down their weapons because I saw daggers. Normal people don't work with daggers. Winter is coming. Coronavirus, go. Zuba, what are you saying? Anina, Zuba. Coronavirus. Corona, Corona, Corona virus. 
ஒரு கொடுக்க Winter is coming from the northern part of Nigeria. Kano State has unexpectedly soared from the bottom of the list to the top with 16 numbers of coronavirus patients in the state. And that is very, very scary. You and I know that whatever Kano State is involved in Nigeria is always massive. Remember the elections? Kano State is the cheat code. Are, it's like Usain Bolt at the Olympics. Kano State will always overtake. We are quite hopeful. The Nigeria will come out of this bigger and stronger. We're calling people that are supposed to be on, uh, on, on holiday among the health workers. Guess how much they are giving to them? 5,000 Naira. 5,000 Naira to come and lay down your, your, your life, to come and fight coronavirus? 5,000 Naira? Do you think anybody will want to go out there because of 5,000 Naira? Wait, you mean in Nigeria, as a doctor or a nurse, you mistakenly contract coronavirus while treating a patient? While saving life, saving the country, you are entitled to just 5,000 naira. 5,000 naira. No, I'm speechless. Till I come back to your face again, I'm Tini Agbaji. Thank you for being a part of my show.